Listen, let's talk sod real quick. Don't scroll. I'm Nate, your host from Advanced Lawn and Garden. Uh, when it comes to sod, when it comes to, you know, whether you like Bermuda, Zoysia, uh, you know, St. Augustine, Centipede, whatever it is, don't go with the Pro Vista. Just don't go with it. There's no point. There's no reason unless you are a lawn guru and you love being in your lawn, working on your lawn, spending time and money on the lawn. And I'll tell you why. Pro Vista's number one selling point is that it's slower growing and that it's glyphosate tolerant, meaning you could spray the crap out of it with Roundup. But let me tell you something. You can't always spray it with Roundup. And if you spray it with Roundup right away, like they say that you can, you're going to smoke that stuff. And being a grass manufacturer or cultivator or whatever, why would you want to teach people about spraying their lawn with Roundup? When in best management practices, the whole idea is prevention. So does it stand up to pre-emergence as good as it stands up to glyphosate or Roundup? But after all that stuff, if that doesn't steer you away from this fancy Scots Pro Vista Vista, what I mostly think about and what I concern myself with is that it's slow growing, so less mowing. That also means it's slower to repair itself. So when you buy St. Augustine sod and you look at the palette and it's like a little bit brown, maybe it's been sitting for a day, maybe two days. I wouldn't do it at two days, but a day. If it's brown in the least, don't buy it if it's Pro Vista. But if it's Floritam or Seville or Citra Blue or anything like that, go ahead and buy it. Tell the customer, hey, water it. You'll be fine. As long as there's no fungus, you know, certain types of mold and you know bugs on it. You're fine to install it brown, actually really brown. It will do fine. We don't do it really brown, but we'll do it with a little tinge. That's good. It'll go fine. There's already a massive problem in the fact that they haven't come out with any seed for St. Augustine grass. It's a sterile hybrid turf. Uh, so my belief is, is any spreading of, of, of grass that you can get from your turf on the surface is very needed and very valued when you can't just overseed. You don't want to be plugging and patching all year and all, all your life owning that lawn. So just go ahead and get something that's more vigorous. Something that requires a lot of mowing like Bermuda grass is great. The reason why it's so tolerant and drought tolerant and resistant and self-healing is because it grows fast. You want a grass that's fast growing. So Provista, bye-bye. No more. Stick with Floritam.